Greetings! I'm a friend of Troy McClure and you may know me from presentations like Low Boot Dual Booting the Galaxy S2. Last time we've seen it's possible, but the way to get there was kind of tedious. You had to mess around on the shell, lots of commands, lots of technical stuff. Not everybody's thing. Today we're going to change this. We're going to set up this S2 with a neat app that only has three buttons and does everything for us. The first thing we have to do is to boot to recovery mode for quite a few reasons. Uh, the first thing you should do is if you are running the system you want to keep as primary boot go to uh, clockwork mode recovery and make a backup of your currently running system you want to keep as primary. I already did that. We do not have to, to show making a backup. We all know how this works. Um, what you then should do once you've done the backup is you install the system you want to run as secondary boot. I also already prepared something for that. Uh, so instead of actually installing a ROM and doing initial configuration and all that, I'm just restoring a backup right now. Um, but should get the point over pretty nicely. Uh, it's a small ROM. I chose the Oxygen AOSP ROM. Uh, small, slim, nice um, AOSP. Nothing much in it. Uh, so that restore should get rather quick. Uh, as I said, uh, here this very very first step or step zero you might want to call it. Uh, you back up your currently system currently running system you want to keep as primary and then you install whatever you want as secondary. So restore should be finished every moment. Yada 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 yada. Maybe we uh, also got... Oh here we go. Uh, okay let's just reboot and it should give us a nice clean AOSP that we want as secondary boot and everything's nice. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Why booting these days takes always so long, I'll never understand. Back in the C64 days, you turned the thing on and it was ready in an instant. These days, you have always to wait. Yes, preparing SD card, wonderful. So, this uh, is the system I prepared for secondary boot. Um, we take the little setup tool wherever we are here is it install and we want to use it so just click open this thing has only three buttons one two three a bit of explanatory text we just hit the first button and allow the root access um what it does now is pretty much conserving the currently running system uh into a cache from where later on the app will install this system as secondary boot. We're going to cut the video now because this it says it may take a few minutes. It actually does take a few minutes. Uh, so we'll be back after the break. And here we are again, back again. The app finished doing whatever it did. It's telling us nicely what it did and what we're going to do next. So we dismiss this one. And what we're going to do next uh, we are booting back to recovery once more. Yeah, we want to for that. Um, because this is um, now the time to restore the previously made backup of our system we want to keep as primary. So, booting recovery should go quick. So, we go to backup and restore. Restore and we restore. Okay. Uh, we're going to make a small cut again. We don't have to see the whole backup, so um, back in a bit. So, coming close to the finishing line and here we are. The restore of our primary system is done. So we reboot back into it. Our system from the very beginning that we started off with. Yeah, eventually we're going to be booted up. Maybe we should like sing a song or something like that. I mean, this takes ages always. 
Oh yeah, I'm having a boot animation. Boot animations are cool. Definitely. Um, so, even though due to whatever this very nice boot animation, it eventually gets booted up. We got pins, lots of pins. Pins are cool. We got unlock parents, and here we are. So, um, no big magic up till there. We did backups, we did restores, and all that kind of stuff. So, we are going to, once it finished loading here, take back again the app. Yes, we want to install and we want to open. We just did the first button, um, so it's only logic that now we tap the second button and allow root for that. And um, this is the actual interesting part. This is where the app uh, sets up, installs, whatever you want to call it, the system it cached away before to the places from where it's getting booted. Since this, again, is um, something that will take a couple of minutes, we're going to make yet another cut. I promise you it's the last one. Or maybe we don't even need, because it's already um, copying data stuff back. Oh, that was quick. EPA. So, some setup secondary system done. This is very nice. Uh, we dismiss that dialog, which brings us to the very last button down there to install uh, the modified, the patched kernel. Doesn't take long. This is already it. Yeah, and that's it. Let's see if it works. We are in this system. Yeah. And uh, we choose an option to reboot to recovery. And instead of recovery, we should just get a second install running. Should. Yeah, here we go. Drum roll, please. This is where it gets exciting. First time I'm trying this build. Um, we might actually fail now. Let me shut up, Tom. Oh, okay. Um, was starting to think we might have a crash or something, but no, here we are. Um, okay, this is um, a bit weird. The wallpaper changed. I don't know why it did that. Shouldn't have done that, um, but anyways, we can already see we're on this system now. Let's check the about section. Yeah, tells us uh, all the neat thing. You can already see there is the orangish glow. Uh, it's all not so colorful like Samsung patched it. So, oh, there is this is the wallpaper like we wanted to have it. Uh, no, not reboot to recovery. We do a normal reboot now. Which should bring us back to our primary system. Yeah, this is the time where we start singing some nice songs again. Um, I'd say I'd start, you follow in. Row, row, row your bow gently down the stream and everybody else. And here we go. Yeah, we should do a mod that um, speeds up booting time. That would be something cool. Yeah, and here we are. And here we are. Back in the primary system. And because it's so much fun, we'll just do it once more. Yeah, screen lock, great. And because it just crashes so many times, and because it's so much fun, one more time. Oh, that was easy, wasn't it? Uh, the app will be um, available for download soon, ish. Uh, I'd say that was pretty easy. That's something everybody can do, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you did. 
then that's cool and if you don't then uh, we try to find something else uh, anyways see you next time bye bye